Hello, how's it going people YouTube and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to again eSports PJ Tour um, Kind of 2k wise, I've not played 2k in quite a number of weeks uh, I'm not saying I'm totally away from it, but I'm pretty much more or less away from it um, So quick update, I've not really been feeling that great the last couple of days um, I've had a little bit of a my wife's had it, uh, my granddaughter's, my stepdaughter had it. So a little bit of a, a dodgy stomach coming out the, uh, let's just say, the bottom part of my body. Um, it's not been ideal, uh, let's put it that way. So we are currently week 21. Uh, this is the, the, the pre-event before the US Open. What I'm planning on doing is having probably like a, a practice round sort of thing for the US Open. So we're currently at Alberta Open and it's Banff Springs, Canada. So we are currently still on 90. I do believe, we had, do we, do we have a, a one-shot lead, I think? If I'm not mistaken. So Tony Finau, I think we played with Tony Finau in the last round. Our current score is 13 under, 47 miles per hour. Uh, current score 13 under, leader is Tommy Fleetwood at 13 under, so we're tied first. Current hole is the seventh, so um, yeah, let's do it, let's go. Um, so I've changed my bag, I've not made that mistake, they, they really need to sort that out when you used to go to your player and then you could swap bags, they won't get gameplay settings, I don't know whether, I don't know why they've done that, but it's something that they need to change, especially if you're you know, I've got I've got a bag that's like a ninety a ninety five bag or is it a ninety seven? I think it's a ninety seven bag I've got and my, my master's bag is a, a ninety nine. So anyway, let's go. Let's do this. So Bam Springs is a little bit of an easier course, so EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present yeah, so my stomach's a little race bit, uh, the FedEx a little bit. From Banff Springs Iffy. in Alberta, Canada, live third round coverage of the Alberta wow. Open. Probably thought you would well, stick under par. Any we should be in for a memorable but let's see what we can do here. As I as say, it, it's, not, it's not the hardest of courses. Um, We've got a tie at the top at 13 under par. Fingers crossed. Included among them is our featured golfer. I mean, the game, be following to me, I know there's a lot of people that, that seem to play like fantastic golf when you, when you play on the, the tournaments. So out to the action we go. Like the daily we tournaments, the weekly tournaments. The people the just seem to play like really, really well. But so here in this Saturday, Frank, I like to play golf just in like the normal golf. Yet again, in what has already been an amazing first season of the PGA Tour. Now, obviously, there's still a long way to go in this tournament. Yeah, it we not could. In the win column, let's yet. just wrap this up but here. Frank, you talk about rookie seasons, I kind of want to put a little bit of draw, but I think we'll be okay. The best in recent memory, isn't it? Without doubt, Rich. Uh, <gasps> I think rookie of the year, that's done and dusted. What the player is trying to do right now is, is just Ouch. elevate them, themselves in a position that's what in the I was FedEx afraid, Cup, make the Tour Championship, and really you know, just kickstart what should be, judging by what we've seen this year, an amazing career. Yeah, we've actually done well this year. The last couple of tournaments, like since the the, the, the PGA, the, the Masters wasn't great, and then we went into the PGA and we just kind of really faltered there as well. So yeah, nothing to fault there. But I don't think we're going to make this par five. Through and a good start to this hole. Want to make oh sure God, you catch no. this cleanly. Here's a second to the par five. Right, let's just get this up and over. I think we should be able to get a night. It's hard really to see if that's straight at the pin. Is that going to be... Yeah, maybe even just a little bit more over. Maybe here. Just move it up. Yeah, that's a good shot. Sand takes away any chance of going for the green in two, but this get is a nice recovery position. here to get back on track. Now, from better than three yeah, yards out, my clear mode is, is kinda. It's. I'm I'm still playing this game pretty much every day. Um, 
but I've kind of like winded down a little bit in the career mode. But I'm still really enjoying playing it. Good second shot, that last bounce, a little unlucky, but still that third shot sits up rather nicely into this par five. Right, one nine, one nine one to the pin. Slightly uphill, it's not by much, it's under, it's under 10 foot, so it's... Uh, I think I'm going to go with the 190, a bit of loft. The wind's not that much. What is it, 47? Just trying to swing nice and easy. That's a bit short. Now, that's not going to be ideal, but... Well, not as close to the pin as you'd like, but no. when you find greens in regulation, on a regular basis, you're going to have a chance. Nice, nice shot in there, Tony. That should be an easy birdie for him. That is absolutely fine. You got to think, two putts will work out fine. So I've changed, here, I've changed the, the ping putt. I, I just like the, the size of the head. I think it's quite a nice size compared to the Scotty Cameron. Still like the Scotty Cameron, but right through shadow. I mean, this is almost impossible to get any kind of form of read off it. Uh, it's hard anyway when you, when you've got like a green that's that's not in shadow. So it's one point five below at our feet now. I mean, is, what's it going to do after it? <clears throat> really don't know. Just really want to get this one close. I wonder swung that a little bit. It's not a bad. It's not a great putt. To be honest, that little underswing cost us a little bit. But that should be the simplest of yeah, well done. <laughs> I just, I just went to that edge there. Hold tight. Man, minus part, 13. Not bad. Toad Big Tony's going to have a. For he should have a birdie here. I can't see him not having a birdie. Runs yep. that one right in. It's a birdie here at the seventh. And as I say, I've, I've put on the, the, the visual effects for the whole out, which I, I personally do like it. I think it's. Frank, you like this kind of I think from a YouTube you from perspective, it just gives course. you the opportunity of showing you exactly so what I've got at that, that hole, yeah, as opposed to uphill, like, what was that for? If I say, obviously, my scorecard's going to tell you it's out of a bug there, whatever, but it's just nice to see it. You don't have to hit it directly at the flag. Par three. Big Tony generates a little bit of spin from his, so. Well, that's still on the green, but that's the danger of not quite getting it out there as far as it needs to go. Right, one five four. I might just hit this in. You know, I might actually just do an auto knockdown. Drifting a little bit. That's short as well. And it would have spun back even more, so. And that one but a bit off the uh, green, but not the yardage wise. Sitting up in the short grass. Well, that wind, we maybe should, yeah. Right, we don't want the spinner. I think I'm going to go with the chip here. Just get it rolling. Yeah, not a bad attempt. I, I thought it was going to break a little bit. We could be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. We could probably really just went straight out of the pin, to be Bernie. honest. Well, they often say it's the toughest putt in golf. There's not a lot to it. I think you can take dead aim. If Tony misses. Mm, yeah, that's a pretty good putt. Just a little bit off the mark. No. Point four ball. Okay, that in four par here at the Easy eight. Tap in. And this will stay a so two pars to lead. start. You've got three holes to go. I actually didn't look at the, the leaderboard. 
funny enough. Tony gets his part, so what's the scores on the doors? Tony's 12 under. This will remain a one shot advantage. We are 13 under. Fleetwood's actually bogeyed. Just love the variety here on the front side, Frank, coming off that short par 3 8. So, I mean, now pars are not killing us at the moment, but you know, a little cheeky bird get yards. the ball rolling here. And the third par 5, interesting front nine here. Three par 5s, you know, three par 3s and three par 4s. Uh, this one, not the longest par 5, but still reachable. This one, you have yeah, to good be drive here to sets up the, this is the probably coach. the toughest driving hole on the front nine with regard to par 5s. Like just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. I think we just take this easy. Can I make? Uh, I was going to say, can I make the fairway? Here's the. Yeah, that's actually pretty decent. And that one's going to hit hard. Because it's not a long car. I mean, we've all got 176 yards to the hole, so. Fine. As far as par fives goes, it, it's pretty easy. Now, from a little less than 200 yards, this a second to the par five. If 20s looking good, if this sits, to, oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a good ego opportunity for him. Got every bit of that. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to got it to stop. Home get in there close the here. Five. Definitely within range of getting home in two. This his second. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we underswung that a little bit. Should still be okay. Yeah. That was that perfect is a distance. marvelous shot. Look at that, Frank. You sometimes on a par five. Right. You're happy of course, to just be home. Maybe 50, 60 feet away. You take your two and get eagle. Move on. Uh, Quite a lot of break by the looks of it. Aiming at way out to the left. Imagine if he can roll this one oh, in. Mm. What a well <laughs> never up, never in to it. Game, I mean, it's just now it's another shot. This one just about straight at it for Eagle. Right. It's not that much. Couple inches. Um, point eight below. So it's going to break a little bit, but not like massively. Come on, let's go. That's how you take oh, that's clutch. Of par five. It's in for an eagle Ooh. three. Superb. Get one eagle. Did that? That didn't tick. I think also okay, there was one where you had to hit the pin. I don't know why they do it because it never works. And the, the the quest. Oh, that's a, that was a big move there. Frank, we begin this back nine with a real test. It's a 218-yard par three. And it's very easy to get lulled into the shape of that lake there on the right side and try and hit a cut yeah, in here. Ends up at the, but, the uh, back, that cut's going to work left. against the natural shape of the hole. If anything, I'm really a nice line draw. Work with. Uh, let's just take the six iron. Do you know, I actually feel like hitting, I actually feel like hitting the five and putting some waft on it. I think I need to be hitting a little bit easier. This one's looking good. It's that long maybe, oh, that's perfect. Yep. You know, in this game, you don't just hit the shot, you have to see the Sometimes shot. Sometimes hitting that's the shot a little bit right within there. yourself awesome. makes for, a, for, for better accuracy. Tony looks if he's middle of the green, maybe. Bit of a weird one. Give him a long putt. All right, you don't have to catch it on the middle of the face every time. That's on the middle of the dance floor and a birdie putt coming up. This would be a big bonus if it went in more than likely just trying to get this one close. Better. Breaking from the left, by the looks of it. It's actually not too bad. Ooh, ho, ho. Do you know what I thought? I actually thought he had it there.
Birdie putt now moving to his right. right. Pretty level, 1.2 below, so it's going to break. That eagle putt we had, it's going to break just a little bit more. Oh, that's a lot. I thought that was going to hook four. round and miss. Oh, big Tony misses. Bogey. Cost him. Not good. So we went Papa Eagle Birdie. This is the 16 under. Okay. Big Tony goes back to 12. And fortunately, the lead still. Right. Allow him to play par four oh, final four hole for us today. Got a four shot lead. So off the long par three tenth, okay. we are Looking at good. the eleventh hole, four hundred and seventeen yard par four, Frank. It looks like a straightaway par four, Rich. But if anything, the hole actually bends to the left, and you really want to follow that natural contour of that. Just sort of draw it off those bunkers on the right, or just simply carry it over the ones on the left. But ideally, down the left side of the yeah, that middle, tree pins middle, down. middle right. Yeah, we just carry all this stuff here. It's we just drive it. We, we could we could actually hit like a what, what we've got is it a height is it a hybrid? No, we we'll actually get three wood in this one. Oh, absolutely beautiful! Whoa, 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 Excuse me. Oh. That's a yawn. No, I actually just up. I've been up for mm, maybe just over no an hour. There. No, just under an hour. Safely in the fairway. Second shot now from right at a hundred yards. yards. A little bit short. Right, if I remember rightly, we played the first and second rounds. Uh, I think we of spun off the game. Really, that was a, a green light hole. situation from that distance and you know, far from the best shot I'm, I've I seen I feel like I'm tempted to play the knockdown shot. Just add a little bit extra. Oh, we underswung that big time. Yeah. That was maybe, uh, we should maybe but try to see where the limit that of that shot, shot was from, in terms of the back swing. Close in. I would have been looking at 10 to 15 feet. Every time it is home. a definite possibility here. This is a long look for birdie. N that was nine. Nine underswing. Not good. Uh, not a lot of movement, really. I think we really just hit this up, to be honest. I mean, putting through the shadow, it's uh, again, you know, it's it's hard to pick up any kind of like. Deal. It doesn't look as if it does much. Yeah, good putt. Just you know, ideal. Good wag good putt. Speed on that putt, and just a tap in remaining. We welcome just in get the Iona pot. Steven. This, a putt for birdie. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot of break in this overall. Distance very important. It might be one of those putts. Hit it firm, you take the break out altogether. Ooh. Mm, yeah, that's that Tony's a course again. good putt. Just a little bit off the mark. Four footer. Four above. Shouldn't really cause as much. So that damage. rushed in for par here at 11, and he'll remain four clear of the field. Oh, it's, uh, it's the 4th of July. It's uh, American Independence Day. Because I think there's some uh, American items in the, in the shop. Finished off. It's in for for the 4th of July. Born on the 4th of July. Three shot lead. Well, that was the last hole. So what, I, I don't know, that, that caught me off guard. So, so we shot three under. Golfer. 
which is what we, we scored, so simulated, uh, we were even par. Just a good fit for the golf course, rich, long enough, straight but enough. more importantly, we're going to the there, final round with a three shot lead over Tommy Fleetwood. So Grayson Sig, is a name I've not Iona heard. Steven, and all our crew. And that Maverick McNeely, I've, I've never heard of we'll him. I, I don't watch a lot of golf EA now, Sports, to be honest, on PGA Tour. So, three shot lead. Going to the final round. Let's see what happens. I think we should be teed up with Big Tony again, I'd imagine. So, daily quest is completed, which is good. Yep, Big Tony. So, here we go. Let's get the, the weather. It's a 2 to 4, not a lot. Um, starting on the 14th. We're currently 15 under par, so we're 2, un two under. No. We're 1 over, I believe. So Tommy Fleetwood is currently the leader at 16 under, so we're 1 behind. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's see what happens. EA Sports and the PGA Tour so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From Bamp Springs Golf Course, we present live final round coverage of the Alberta Open. It is the great challenge that all these golfers face, trying to string right, four one solid behind. rounds what together, trying to best mother nature and this course, and Just trying to, play to beat the really. entire field as we check the leaderboard. I mean, it's a course that Tommy we can, we is can on top. He's you know, make buddies and eagles. Under par. Meanwhile, right, our future there. golfer, right there to begin this right. Sunday, currently just one shot off the lead. Yeah, well, he's, Time he's to one get over par. The on Buddy the, the nine, bogey 12 and 13. The at the Dumb par four fourteen. Yeah. We just let this bleed off a little bit. Oh, beautiful drive. Laser. And all about hitting the fairway here, and that is right where you want to be. Now, Big Tony is a couple back, so... Ben tries to see uh, what he does, how he plays. Drive, Again, I've, I've said this before, but I, I really enjoy the, the quick location, rounds. I know a lot of people maybe don't like them, but a it's a good way of getting through to tournaments that, you know, to put a lot of like, full rounds, ahead and we like four full, full, full rounds is, is a lot to do. One, two, so. two is the number. Pin on the right-hand side, so really looking for a fade in here if he can. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking really good. Ooh, spins quite a bit there. I mean, that goes from... Like a tap in buddy to a good iron shot, just not you know, quite as close chance. as what we'd all want to finish, but still. Perfect spot to play this second, middle of the fairway. Uh let's play this out. Is, is this gonna I think this I mean is it gonna spin a lot? You you would think Big Tony's dead. We do under swing it, but expecting a lot of spin. Yeah, that spin. Look at the spin in that. Probably brings it back to hole high, I'd imagine. In golf, you know, you've heard the term mulligan. It's you'd love not that bad. Do over there, wouldn't you? I mean, that's just oh, it's very poor from that range. So all this eyes are on Tommy Fleetwood. Foot range here. It's for birdie. Yep, not, not bad. bad effort. I had to put a little extra into that one, but got it there. That's a pretty good effort. Right, Here we one go. Ball, this one point two balls, slightly downhill, but not by much. It's kind of breaking. It's one point three break, so should break a little. That's a little here more than than we thought. Got it there, but not quite. But on it's target. solid putt though. Easy tap in for part. Keep us at 15 under. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. 
So, he'll remain. What happens? Shot back. Let's do this, Tommy. The okay, safely in for his Can he get his part? And he's going to remain one shot off the pace. Guess what? Well, now the Check was up to 15 to under. Tommy still 16. Here, Frank is 475 yards. Certainly want to put your big shoes on here. Nice big slinging draw off the tee might help go a little further. Does go downhill considerably, yeah, but, I mean, so you get a little bit more. The fairways are, are quite generous here. Him just tucked down the the left front left. Do we know if we, do we want to go like a power drive here? Just try and sneak a little bit more juice out of it. Oh, that should be good. It's just favouring the left there. Up that left side. Oh, that's perfect. That well, one point three percent overswing, so it's. In the I've just updated my iPad, my iPhone, so. new iOS it's the the beta 17 so give it a little try see what it's like so big Tony's in the fairway he just keeps motoring right along yeah I've been quite kind of like right gassy there. in my stomach which actually doesn't sound really pleasant but I've been kind of bucking it out a lot up. more let's check in for the first time with Notabagay the third 147 to the hole pin is on the front left part not of the not a bad ring. shot in there from Tony 25 foot maybe. Well, not super close, but uh, safely on the green. Just 92 oh, yards. You've got 92. To this par four. What was the wind? The wind wasn't much. I actually kind of did notice the wind, but I didn't. If that makes sense. Come on. Get in there, course. Ah, oh, spin takes it away. It does give us an indication of the break, though. It breaks a little bit from the. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a head turn. It's gonna break from really. the left a little a bit. I think. Green light situation from that distance, and you know, far from the best shot I've seen today. Tony's is pretty straight, actually. Just gonna sneak on by. Walk on by. Do, a do, long do, one coming do. up here oh, that's for bad. I shouldn't really sing. Right, level putt. It's one degree below. So I think it's going to break. I think it's going to break about that much. Bit more. Bit more. Oh, oh almost the same as the last hole. We, right, we just needed a little bit more break. Ah, course, but no cigar. Okay, a so par another part 15. keeps us at 15. And he's gonna stay two back. Let's see what Big Tony does. Well, Tony Fina and uh, I was gonna say Big Tony. I meant Tommy. <laughs> Tommy and Tony. Tony okay. Fina gets a par. So what does uh, what does Tommy of get? Oh, chef was 17 Frank under. Yards, I don't know what hole he's on. Goat. Would, would that be the greatest say? of all time, or is it just because the possibility you, you could see old Billy out there? Interesting. The it's, uh, it's getting, uh, it's getting like tight to at the top. The, uh, the greatest of all time. Uh, I've right. never seen a goat hit a draw, that's why. And that's what's needed this off this tee once again. One. The first bunker you should easily be able to carry that. And, uh, well, if you're the I greatest feel of all time, a little bit this is bigger. a fairway, you'll certainly hit. That was close to the, the trees, but that's a fantastic drive. Kind of took the risk right. there in the of getting a little bit extra yardage, but as I say, that tree, I thought about drawing it, but that worked out perfect. Right, we, need to, we actually need to get some buddies here. Boy, 
the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. So from right around the middle of the fairway, this is second. And back to it. Oh, it's short. Yeah, spins back quite a bit. Like we need to control the spin here. Um, depends what we've got. We, no, I mean, on the I green. actually never, I never looked to see how many yards we had, but You'd expect I don't think we'll have much. Be much closer than that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Right. Spin a shot here. Get in there, course. Come on, spin a little. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's what we want. That's where you Not go for that little bit extra drive. Inside of five feet. Nicely done. One thing's for sure. He's going to have to hit this one with some pace, traveling uphill much of the way. The bird, eh? Ooh, nice shot. Yeah, that's a good putt right He's there. From that distance, he'll settle. A dead on look here for birdies. Slightly uphill. Maybe hit it from. No, oh, it's too. Miss right. It was too below. Point two below. I aimed like point two above. Oh, you absolute donut. Oh, okay, that'll be a par here at sixteen. I basically was. And he'll stay. I, I hit it, over. and I looked at the. I looked at it at point two below. So I, I, I done this. I went. Oh, it's it's above. I should have went this way. Oh, you. That's painful. He'll finish that one off with no problem. It's in for par. Wow. And he'll stay right where he is. Oh, that should have been 16 under. Frank, <laughs> as we make our way to the house, a chance here at the 17th, just 374 yards. Unbelievable. A chance for a birdie. It certainly is. Anytime you see a hole today under 400 yards, I mean, yards two, four, that I is, mean that, you know, the last hole in this hole, two great short, opportunities you know, you're for, get a short for in your hand if you hit a good tee shot. Just avoid the bunkers left and right off the tee. Um, green does slope back to back back to front, so it pitches nicely towards you, making that second shot of anything a little easier. Unbelievable. Hey, we need to get something out of these last two holes. That should be like a spinner shot all day, every day. Uh, solid, or a flop or something. Oh, I just don't believe that. Yeah, point two, and I went, oh, it's above, and I went to the, and when I hit it, and I looked at the wall. Right, come on. Pick ourselves up. Uh, it all looks so simple when you're going good. You've at least it? played better. And that is yet another solid drive. From the fairway, 98 yards remaining for his second. Can be short again. And the spin, that's not bad. A, a decent chance there for That's uh, not too bad. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside. Yeah, I'm going to take the spin up. Take a couple off it. Get in there, of course. Make sure with that's going to be a tap in, birdie. And that's Two foot four inches. I mean, that would have been 16. That, 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 that would, this would have been for 17 under if we got that bird in the last. We tied for the lead, going up, going up the par five. Great up. Oh, Tony misses. There's not a lot happened for Tony there. Point six above. But we can hit this for March, right? Just take a little bit of the break out. Nicely done. A birdie finished off here at yeah, 17. We eventually do get the bird there. The so, top five, one. last With hole. One hole left to go. The chef for bogey. Tommy Fleetwood birdie. What happens? Join us for the 18th no hole. That's a par here at 17. And he's going to remain right. at minus 16.
Ooh. Well, here Tommy we are here at Banff Springs. Tommy Fleetwood was about a couple of behind us. Frank, a chance to finish the round with a flourish. If you're one of the fortunate to hit this field, like, it's team? very reachable, but uh, well protected by bunkers left, right, central bunkers as well. You really have to be aware of two things, the wind direction and exactly how and far you can carry that tee shot if you want to find this field. Yeah, back, back middle, a back middle way. Yeah, that's all we can really. Do you know what? Yeah, power drive selected. Let's just go for the power drive. Oh, let's look to the, the right a little. Oh, it's, it's perfect. Actually, if, if we'd hit that okay, straight, we might, we might have actually run out of fairways. Actually, we're so. hitting hole, it uh, slightly, that's be a good slightly off there to, to the right from. was actually a, a, a good plan. So a birdie's going to tie, tie us up with Sheffield, who's in as a clubhouse lead. But Tommy Fleetwood's still out in the course. He's still got a couple holes to play, actually. A lot could change. So we need to wait and see. I like it. I like it a lot. He's going to love it if he can get out of here with the three, and that's a possibility. Right. What have we got here? 2 2 6 to the pin. Um. Do you fancy just hitting in? Yeah, I'm going to go with this. I want to hit it easy. I want to have it a little bit easier than normal. So we can a bit to the right. Oh, it's long, it's long, it's long, it's long, it's long. Ah. Really hit that second shot on the Not the best uh, approaches, five. it's not the worst but either, but. Couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, too good. Maybe a club too down. Long, sadly. Now, to possibly finish this round in grand style, a long look for Eagle. We need the birdie. We need the birdie to tie Sheffler and hopefully Tommy oh, Fleetwood doesn't equips us, but... It's just beautiful. The speed was perfect. It just didn't go down. Oh, well, Ch Chaparinsky here, maybe. Uh, I actually quite fancy chipping this in. Nah. Good chip though. Uh, just kind of dragged on us a little bit. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. Yeah, gets above it. So that says 17 under. That ties us with Scottish Chef. That will write an end to the round here today. Oh, what could have been though with that birdie on uh, 16 though? You know. Oh right. yes, right. what a job here at 18 to tie Ooh, for the lead. Tommy Fleetwood finishes 16. It's just time to sit back and see what Ooh, happens. We're in a playoff. So back we go to the tee at the par 4 16th hole. First, uh, first playoff of hard. Loose as they get set for the start of this three hole aggregate. Three holes. Okay. Um, is that score going to go away? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm just. I think I'm just going to hit the normal shot here. Although I can't really see much. Oh, it's a perfect shot. And that will do just fine. Uh, let's get the menu up. Is that going to take that away? This is why you practice these shots from under 100 yards. You've bombed your drive. Now it's time for the touch shot. Okay. Zip one in there. I close. don't know what's happening here. I've never really had a, a, a playoff. 
Right, is this going to zip down? That's the only thing. Okay, don't spin too much. Don't spin too much. Did. Oh, it spun a massive amount. There's not a lot of break in it. It's coming from the right a little bit. That's a head scratcher. That approach shot from uh, relatively close in. I would have been looking at 10 to 15 feet. Going to have to take pretty much a full swing at this one with the yeah, putter because this one is good, into the hill and the hole is cut back. Probably a one foot, maybe 10 inches or so. Uh, 43, 63, rough Oh, get down. Whoa, 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 oh, My goodness, that absolutely. Maybe misjudged my speed with that putt. I think it breaks a hair though. Yep. Okay, no uh, mistakes on this first playoff hole. Right, That's half keeps the battle. And this one, in for I a don't bar. know what's happening here. Uh, I mean, we, we obviously we're, we're tied with Scottish Sheffler. What? What's happening here? I, honestly, I, I really do not know what's going on here. Oh, oh this doesn't look good. Uh... What's happening? Um, I think we have a little bit of an issue here. Um, there's something not right here. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's not... It's not going to load. Um, I really don't know what's happening here. That there's something not truly right with us. Uh, so. Oh, you can actually check. Oh, okay, yeah, that's. You can actually check the wind there, two to four. Um, I think I'm gonna have to quit. Right, we need to quit. Let's save the round and see if that that sorts it. Right, let's see what happens here. Well, this is a bit weird. I, I don't know what it's going to do here. EA Sports and the PGA Tour so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From Bamp Springs Golf Course, we present uh, our final round coverage of the it's, Alberta it's put Open. Us back to the 18. Well, we have already seen three scintillating, sometimes spectacular rounds of golf. By the time twilight comes calling later today, right, so, we will have a champion uh, as we check the Sunday leaderboard. What do we do the here? Is Scotty Scheffler? He leads the pack at 17 under. Out to the action we go as we'll pick things up. At what do we do here? Five, 18th hole. Oh, do you know what? Oh, that came out funny. That's a bad it drive. The, the driver had in the first. Well, not this time. Run that through this was, was fantastic. It was bad, but it actually up. turned out really good. So uh, it's put us back to the last hole. Hmm. Interesting.
Mm. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll play. We'll play it. We'll play it aggressively, we'll play it how we'd normally play it and see what happens. Because <laughs> there may be some talking points in this. <laughs> oh, hiccups That's again. That's what he wanted <laughs> to do after oh. the tee shot puts himself in a really good position here on the par five. Right, two, five, three. Do you know what's a hack shot? I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this shot. Tugged a little bit to the left. It's not a bad shot, actually. Had the distance right, just I was going to say, if we had an opportunity to get an eagle, I mean, we could still maybe ch chip it in not here, but stuff, Rich, so that's don't want to take the eagle, one, don't want to really go with, the, with that shot. Yeah, I think it's a standard pitch. I've heard people have had an issue with playoffs, but I think I think the Apex sounded a little bit of an issue. And I think he did the same thing. Um. Let me just play this. Uh, I don't know how to play the pitch or the, ch the, the chip. Let me play the chip here. Right, we don't get the eagle. Just six feet left for the birdie. Let me just take this from. Right, so we get the birdie. Yeah, it's a birdie at so again, and that will finish off. We tie it up with Scott Scheffler. So but Frank, another Sunday is a Tommy Fleetwood still it out there. Yeah. I think he finished sixteen under in the last, in the last run. To win yet again on the PGA Tour as a rookie, you have to think by now. Right, so we're in the same scenario. To be unfazed by just about anything put in their way. Oh, and also, Rich been... getting in the other players' heads because Sunday is meant to be that pressure cooker day. Oh, this is not looking good, actually. So if you've managed I think to win a death at cycle. least twice in your rookie season. Players are starting to think, well, hang on a minute. They have figured out how to play this goal when the pressure's at the very most. So I actually give them the advantage. I think we're in the death cycle. We're in this sort of... Is this hole not going to play through? Oh, nice boost. Oh, absolutely fantastic boost there. Hits the, the, oh, the path. you love a second shot like this on every hole, wouldn't you? Something just under 100 yards something easy to dial in i mean there wouldn't be a flag you wouldn't hit it a nice round number here at even 100 yards coming up for his second I don't we're, we're anticipating spin here oh that's absolutely <laughs> what oh, a golf the shot strike. the sound of when the ball so, does the rest great shot What's going to happen See here? Get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Yeah, we get yes. above it. Well played, but is it going to hold up to the next hole? This is the a thing. Birdie here at 16. Oh no! Right, we are in a death loop here. I think we're going to have to eagle that last hole. I think we're going to have to win to actually. I mean, we we, we could withdraw. Right, I think what, we, what we're going to have to do is play this this version. If we get into the same scenario, we're just going to have to withdraw. There's no other way of doing it, unless we can just... Unless I can just end the video and get that eagle putt on, on the 18th. Because we're, we're in a death loop. EA Sports and the PGA Tour... So proud to present the season-long race strange. for the FedEx Cup. Very strange. From Bamp Springs Golf Course, we present live final round coverage. I think this has, has, has been a, a, a known what issue. A I've, I've heard people that have had a, so far. A, a, a playoff you the issue. Golf By nightfall, we will have our winner. As you take a look at the current <laughs> leaderboard on this Sunday oh, afternoon. That's, a, that's an absolute dinger. The former Texas oh, no, Longhorn Scotty Scheffler mm. is the leader. He leads the pack at 17 under. Ah. 
out to the action we go as we'll pick things up at the par 5 18th hole. Yeah, so this is a... Uh... Okay, that's going to be good. Birdie is a must. Down by one here at the final hole, and that's going to be a good position to play from. Yeah, it's it's been kind of interesting. But yeah, I'm going to play this. See, see what we do. Oh, that second shot just ran out of fairway, but still, a nice little pitch shot and a good chance to make four at the par five. Because ultimately, you know, we could eventually eagle this hole. I'm going to, I'm going to play this because I think this is going to run a little. Um, yeah, we we could eagle this. We'll have the distance right just a little bit offline, and that's going to mean that, that we're obviously going to win the tournament. But you know, it would be nice to play the playoff and, and, and did that, and you know. Okay, it's not stone dead, but that's not too bad. What do we do here? I think we, I think we do the, I think we do the chip. Oh, that's a bit short. Oh, we'll lose it. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do at this point. A straightforward look here for Birdie. Straight, it says straightforward. There's no such thing as a straightforward putt. No, well, there we go. go no, that's us. Right. So we're going to end up losing it, which is a bit unfortunate. So straightforward. Um, Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. You know, it's, it's a bit of a shame because we were actually tied for the lead. We probably had that opportunity of winning. Uh, that's good putt there to wrap things up at 18, and that's going to wrap up our 18 holes of golf. So unfortunately, we did have a chance of perhaps winning this tournament uh, but that's now not going to happen because so we get the par we needed the bubble there to get to 17 under to the round here today. yeah that's kind of oh, weird man, they, just they don't need to fix that that's kind of that's kind of disappointing this a second place finish just one stroke behind I mean, we did miss watch. that, that shot in 16, that though. Too. So close, and you're right. They could have birdied 18. We could have had a playoff. But in the end, uh, this uh, is one of the okay. best tournaments I've seen for a while. So kind that's of it really, for us. I would for say Frank, I'm, I'm Nota, pissed off with that. Iona, but, and our entire you know, crew. Rich Learner saying, with a three thanks for joining us. Opportunity we'll in, see in you next time tournament, so. on EA Sports PGA Tour. Anyway, that's going to conclude the uh, Alberta Open. A little bit disappointing in the end. Um, you know... Possibly could have won it, to be honest. But not to be. So we have qualified, obviously, for the U.S. Open. Um. Yeah, that's that's kind of weird. Right, let's check the uh, the stats. Uh, FedEx Cup. We are still fourth. Still a little bit behind some GM, Tony Finau, Max Homer. Scott, Scotty Chef was uh, obviously moved up a little bit behind us. OWGR, 14th, I think I'm a 15th. So moved up a little bit. But anyway, guys and girls, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, as I say, a bit of a weird one. Maybe not the best. Um, so we head to Brookline, Massachusetts, the country club, and we play the, the US Open hopefully we can do a better performance than we did at the last uh, major where we did miss the cut at plus 6 so looking forward to it so again thank you for watching and catch me next time bye